Welcome back to African Air Ordnance. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today, just received a brand new air rifle from pelicans.com. Very excited about this one. This one is from LCS Air Arms USA. Came in a very nice hard case. All right, let's open it up. That fell off. All right. Isn't it one good looking air rifle? So this is the SK19 and 5.5. It's a semi and full auto air rifle. Has a 19 round internal magazine. That's non-removable. Has a 600 millimeter barrel. Also comes with a suppressor. Carbon fiber cylinder that's a 480cc, 250 bar full. It has a internal regulator that is adjustable externally so you don't have to take the rifle apart. Very, very cool. It also has a power adjuster. So this is a handless design. So if you want to, you just unscrew it if you want to increase the power or screw it in if you want to decrease the power. Rifle comes with a pretty nice owner's manual that kind of just shows you some of how to, you know, obviously how to adjust the regulator, just like that. Power wheel, how do you fill the mag, the uh, safe auto and safe semi and auto settings on the rifle. Right. I think the next thing is just to get it out the box and we'll have a closer look at it. All right, first we're gonna lift up the magazine locking lever. We're then just gonna turn it around, just like that. And the magazine door is gonna open. So now you have access to, there's normally four or five slots over here that you can fill first. And then whenever you're ready and you fill those slots, you, all you do is you're gonna just index the magazine over like that. And so let's say now that you've finished filling 19 rounds, uh, into the magazine and just if you're curious this magazine is made out of titanium so it's very cool unfortunately it doesn't come out the rifle so when you finish filling those bullets I'm just going to close that on the door I'm just going to turn it back over just like that and we're going to pull down the lever and if you then want to go ahead and shoot so what you're going to do is you're going to take the safety lever and you're going to put it onto semi water or if you want to go match it crazy <laughs> You just put it onto auto, and that'll be basic. It's a machine gun. So that's how you would fill the mag on the SK. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is its power wheel adjustment. So just to show you guys, if I turn it this way, as if I'm going clockwise, that will lessen the power. But if I to undo it, just like that, that will increase the uh, power of the gun. So that was just a quick, just to show you guys. Obviously when you're shooting lighter pellets, you wanna like adjust that in and then test and then from there you can kind of adjust back out. Um, just so that, you know, you're not, you're not shooting a very light pellet, super fast down range and it's gonna affect accuracy. Now when you go to slugs, you can undo it and then test like that. So that's how you adjust the power wheel. All right, next I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the regulator. So you take an Allen key, you just, insert it into the uh, regulator adjuster and now if I want to lessen the pressure I'm just gonna adjust that just slightly if I wanted to increase the pressure I'd go the other direction so I would actually go that way around if I wanted to increase pressure so pushing it down will decrease pressure and pushing it up will increase the pressure so that's how you adjust your regulator it is quite sensitive so it's important that uh, you just do small increments and test. And after you adjust it, fire a couple of shots and it'll reset the plenum pressure. All right, the other thing I wanna show you guys was the safety that's by the trigger. The trigger shoe itself is actually adjustable and so you can go up or down, depending on what you like. So once you've set the selector at the back of the, the rifle, then you're just gonna go ahead and you're just gonna move that switch to fire. So then now you'll be ready to fire the gun. All right, I think the next thing we do is just gonna head to the range and which I'm very excited about and just to see how she shoots for the first time so stay tuned all right we're at the range finally going to test the SK19 got it topped off with the discovery 
8 to 32 by 50 SF scope. It's a nice optic. And I've got it loaded up with Jumbo Diablos that are in a 15.99 grain, 8.9 grain, sorry. So I've actually loaded the power, I've turned it down, because obviously if we turn it too high, this is going to be flying down there. So let's see how they run. Alright, so that's the JSPs. Quite a big group. Uh, there's a bit of a wind blowing down that side. But uh, overall, I think maybe what we'll do is in the next video, we'll kind of really concentrate on, on these lighter pellets. Alright, next up at the Zane 25.5 grains. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the power by, let's say, six clicks. Two, three, four. Alright, let's see how those zanes go. Alright, so those Zane's quite a big group on that. Alright, next we've got the JSB Jumbo Beast in 33.95 uh, grains. Let's see how those shoot. Alright, those went pretty awesome. One or two flies, but otherwise I think pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Alright, next we've got to load it up with the Zane 33 grains, and let's see how those shoot.
Right, so we had quite a few flies with the Zane. Right. The SK19 loaded up with some heavier slugs, the 39 grain uh, slugs. These are hand cast slugs. So let's see how they shoot. Holy cow, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> Man, I gotta say I love this rifle. Uh, the nice thing is you, you don't have to break position to cock it, self-loading, pretty freaking awesome. All right, we've got to load it back up with those 39 green slugs. Now we can put on full auto and let's see how this works. Pretty curious to see if we can even get any type of grouping, but I expect it to be a bit of a shotgun pattern, but let's check it out. So we'll flip it onto full auto. Well, <laughs> it wasn't like the first group, but holy cow, how freaking awesome is that? Man, that is just what I've done. Gotta say, gee, freaking cool, man. You gotta try it. Alright, so there you have it with the SK19. I must say, what an absolute machine shooting at full auto. And I've gotta say, although, you know, with these different uh, pellets and slugs that I was trying on it. It's, I think it's just a matter of finding the right setting for the right weight pellet or slug to get it dialed in. And as you saw with those 39 grain slugs, I'm sure they're pretty spot on even at full auto. They actually didn't group too badly. That's it. I really like the rifle. It's a lot of fun to shoot. It's light. In the next video, what I'm going to try and do with the SK-19 is to try and dial it in for each slug, try and find the right setting for a particular pellet or slug and see how that goes. So stay tuned for that video. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as it helps to grow the channel and have a great day.